today I did wake up and I had a feeling like my head was made of, my brain was made of cement and pain would happen when the brain hit the side of the skull. It just felt like I was lifting up cement with my head and it hurt. I didn't take ibuprofen today, but the pain subsided and I was okay. I'm talking about caffeine withdrawal. And yeah, yeah, the symptoms are there. They're kind of whatever. I think day five is when it's really gonna hurt. Painful, painful hurting of my body, writhing in pain. I'm not sure about that, but that's my prediction. Right now, it's just kind of a mercy time to till I get up to that point. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about the spiritual aspects of quitting caffeine because that's kind of what I talk about here on this channel is the spiritual aspects of everything. But quitting caffeine, like, isn't it called Christian crack? Can't we just drink it? Yeah, it's fine. Fine to drink it, right? It's fine. But what I don't like is the addiction part of it. And I'm a very addictive person, so I get hooked really easily to addictive habit-forming things. And caffeine will punish you for not continuing on with it. So what's a spiritual aspect that can be thought out when quitting caffeine well I, I, the toxins the, the chemicals the drug part of it is a chemical it's in your body I there's nothing in the Bible about this but I I think when it talks about fasting and prayer what is that doing it's taking all the chemicals in our modern society anyway back in the day when they didn't have chemicals to put in their food it was probably a little bit different, but now that they're putting chemicals in the food, it's almost like a great thing to do to detox the system of these chemicals and poisons. And I think that caffeine acts like a poison if you don't have it. It's just the same thing as with the food. It's you're withdrawing from it. It's a great sales pitch, you know? It almost forces you to stay on the product by punishing the person with a withdrawal, a powerful withdrawal symptom when they quit coffee. I mean, it practically sells itself. You have to have it each day, which sucks. Anyway, I think there's something to be said about cleansing yourself of all the filthy toxins that come from caffeine and food. Like, if you don't eat at these places, you eat clean for six months and then you go into, say, Panda Express, for example, and then you eat an entree and like a side and whatever they offer, chemical, like tangible chemical headache when you eat there again. Same thing with Burger King, same thing with McDonald's. They put chemicals in the food and you can sense it. If you haven't been eating that kind of food, all of a sudden, there it is, the feeling. So, and I think those things can get in the way. Those toxins, the food poisons in your system, in every bit of your body, I think that prevents almost like a spiritual connection to God in ways. And I'm not saying you should or have to, or, you know, okay, Chuck Smith, for example. He's only gone on a three-day fast in his whole life. He's dead now but he's having the ultimate connection with God right now. But he never cleansed himself of the toxins. And he died of <clears throat> emphysema, I think, lung cancer. I don't know what caused it or if he was a smoker or not. None of my business, it doesn't matter. My point is that I feel like with or without doing this, you have a connect. You can have a connection with God. All you got to do is start talking to Him. I'm just saying that it's easier when you can take all these toxins away for a while. I'm not saying forever. Take them away for a while, and it's almost like it gets easier and easier to talk to God or to communicate with God or to 
have an experience with God and or a prayer hotline almost like it almost feels like it really and you clear out all the distractions too like any Netflix or any kind of sin of pornography or anything and then you just focus on God stuff Jesus the Bible prayer uh, whatever content you're consuming is about God if you can get to that point I mean it, it makes it a little bit easier to experience God and that's why I'm saying that's why I personally want to get rid of caffeine for a while I'm not saying forever but for a while just so that I can get back in touch with God in a stronger easier way and I love convenience I love it because I'm a lazy person I like being able to have an easier way to do something than it always being a grind it takes the grind away from connecting with God and so caffeine I think you can't it's it's hard to go on a, a fast of longer proportions if you have caffeine in your system so I think a prerequisite to going on a long fast is I mean if you want to do it in my opinion the right way is to cleanse yourself for about 10 days off of caffeine I'm on day three this is my third day and I, I'm starting to feel it but um, yeah you can go on a long fast without doing this first but about day five you start to have this very painful writhing restlessness and I want to get sort that out while I'm still eating and then on about January 7th just anyway I don't know how much I want to say that I'll talk about that because of the rewards nature of the Bible <sighs> I'm not gonna get into that I just wanted to talk about how spiritually it's it's almost easier to be without caffeine not impossible though to be on caffeine and have a connection with God you know it's it's never been impossible I'm just saying that I think in my humble opinion that it's easier to make a connection with God when you have cleansed that out and then you take the next steps if you want to to take it like a, a fast a long fast a short fast whatever but I, I don't know I think coffee gets in the way that's all I gotta say I hope your caffeine withdrawal symptoms aren't so bad I hope that you can maybe start to focus on Jesus a little bit more it's 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 hard to do anything <laughs> like I don't feel like working out I don't feel like doing anything right now I don't feel like going to the store to get groceries but I have to so I do I don't feel like doing things now that I'm on day three no coffee I just feel like sitting around <laughs> which I've been doing a lot of today but I did go to Walmart anyway now this is a ramble I've become a rambler and but um, I hope your holidays went well and I hope that everything all you th things are going great <laughs> okay <laughs> I just had a lot of spaghetti pasta good night